Gorsuch. Well, we've all seen the dry lawns and the shriveled up crops, but lately the drought is taking a toll on something much deeper. We're talking about our homes. Yeah, thousands of homeowners across the country are seeing their foundation shifting, and this trend has hit central Ohio as well. Robin Haynes joins us with some information about this. Robin, what should you look for? Well, there's a lot of things you should look for, actually, Mike and Monica, and it's all because of this dried up soil. Just like your lawn, it needs moisture to keep up its shape, and hundreds of homes in our area are falling victim to the drought's extreme damage. They did all along underneath here. The dropping of the footers was causing a stair-step effect in the bricks, from brick to brick to brick. Barbara Lewis and Robert Mudd are neighbors. Their Westerville homes were built on clay soil, so when the ground began to dry, they noticed a pattern. We have a particular kind of soil here. The effects of it is, is very noticeable. When it gets too dry, the soil shrinks. So they called on the basement doctor. Owner Ron Greenbaum says a lack of rain has damaged hundreds of homes in the area already. And calls to his business have more than doubled in just the last month. People are calling us because their doors and windows of their homes are not opening or closing the way they used to. Their patios are sinking, and overall they're starting to see cracks. So if you see large cracks on the outside of your home or near the foundation, or anything bowing or leaning like your chimney or basement walls, that could be a sign to call in the pros. And you have what's called a, a, a footer under it. That's what people refer to. It's like a sidewalk that they build your walls on. And when that starts breaking or starts moving because the soil under it is compacting, that's what's going to move the entire part of that house. But Greenbaum admits the hardest part isn't fixing the problem. It's knowing how to spot it in the first place. Before this had happened, I never thought of, of a drought being related to foundation cracking. So it's good that people are aware of that. Now you should be especially aware if your house is built on that kind of soil, the clay soil. But in a drought year like this, the effects could really hit any home. But either way, if you're at all concerned, it's best just to get it checked out by somebody before the damage gets worse. We are talking about our homes here, so something that you need to definitely keep an eye on. Mike and Monica. Already, thanks so much, Robin. Yeah, some of that damage looks so severe. The bricks separating like that, yeah. it's incredible. Yeah, and, and you know, it's, it's not likely to get a lot better because we haven't had a lot of rain yeah. as of yet. We're getting a little bit closer to where we should be for August, but for the rest of the summer, we've been down so much. Oh, yeah. Got to watch out for these kind of things. Uh, a little bit of rain possible in the forecast.